How's it going? I'm Kenny with SWD Urethane. Today we're going to discuss the touchscreen, the operation of it, and what its function is. It controls everything on the machine from the pressures to the temperatures. It has different screens. As you first turn this on, it'll come up, it'll show a little black emblem going around, and then it pops up like this. This is your main screen that everybody uses. To change screens, you push the right button. As you're pushing it, it changes. Gallons goes into usage. Tells you what you did, either turn the hose either on or off. These are errors, common errors that you would have. Low pressure, um, E24s basically. basically. Um, and if you have any errors on the machine itself, it'll give you a scan code. If you have the Graco app on your phone, you can scan this. And this should give you the first, I believe, three uh, scenarios that would cause that error. Then if people put their job names or certain jobs, you hit this, it'll change color and you can type it in. When you push the black button, the screen's gonna change a little bit. Now, basically the machine's in run mode. All I have to do is pressurize it. These buttons here, when they're dark blue, they're off. To turn the heaters on, there's your A side, B side, and hose seat. If you notice, as you push them, they drop off. Right here, this little emblem right here, means we're running in resistance mode. Over here is your pressures that it takes for the machine to push through. A lot of guys ask what the jog feature is. The jog feature is, if I go over here and highlight this, it changes from blue to gray. If I push the green button, it's gonna start pumping. That helps in recirculating material faster. This goes up to 20. So if I wanna go up, I use the up button or down button. I can go up to 20 or I can go down. Once the material is up to temperature, push that button, it turns it off. When I hit this button, the machine's gonna pressurize. This right here is your cycle counter. If you push this in and hold it three seconds, it goes to zero, it clears itself. So that way you can monitor how many strokes you use on a specific job. You actually figure out how much material you used. On this one right here, these are your temperature settings for your heaters. If I turn them on, if I wanna go up or down, I can go up or down. Raise and lower by pushing the buttons to the left or to the right. Same thing on this side. Your hose heat works the same way. Your pressure does the same thing. These buttons here, raise and lower the pressure. This right here shows you your actual liquid in the machine or chemical you have. Normally everybody, if they're spraying a full set, those are set up to 47 or 48 gallons. So you just raise it up, set it. The machine's usually set that'll shut off at five gallons. So you can do that with the A and B side. If you notice, it's got a lifetime, daily, and manual. What this is telling you, is telling you daily how much you used. So today, just doing test sprays, we used four gallons. Here, you got a history. This history tells you how much you sprayed per day. You look on this side here, it tells you, it tells you the date, how many strokes or cycles, how many gallons you use in total. Then this page right here, it says events. Anytime I turn the heater on or off, it came on. Counter reset, heat off, hose, heat off, hose. That's tell me that's what I did. This screen here, go back to showing low pressure. Okay, let's go, go back to, the, that's your scan. If you do have an error, It'll give you a scan, just scan this. It'll tell you the top three things that are causing that error. Job name, if you do that, put that in there. Okay. There's another function of this here. There's a lock unlock button. You push this. This has everything from pressure imbalance, um, deviations, alarms, uh, reactor control settings, right here. Enable low chemical alarm, it's set at five gallons. You can change that. 
To change that, you hit this button here, and when it highlights, the black one is what you need to move it up and down, push the up and down button. So if I wanted that to read 10, I put 10 in there. I'm not gonna change that right now. To get that back, to accept it, you push that, it accepts the change. To change pages, there's numerous pages on this, three pages. This is the first page. The second page, oh, let me go back to the first page. First page here, we have accessory section, flow meters. We have flow meters down here. The machine has that. We have to enable it. Let's see, go back, unlock it. Okay, now we're changing the screen, integrated mode. If we had uh, insight on this, yes, it would be there. Okay, hose control module, mode. Okay, this machine has three settings. You got the FTS, you got manual, and you got resistance. If you're using it in resistance mode, you highlight it, there's a little screen here that says calibrate. This is calibrated in the morning when the hoses in the machine are not turned on yet. It cannot be heated. If you do do that, you disconnect the black wire coming out of the machine to the FTS. The FTS gives a bogus reading sometimes to the resistant mode. So you disconnect it. If you wanted to change this, all you do is hit it and it changes. You got FTS, manual and resistance. We're gonna stay in resistance. I hit that. If I had to go manual, I just go up into it, click on it. And then when you do that, it'll say enable manual hosting. You click that box. So you would click that box to enable it. But every time you push this and change its color, you're activating, you want to, you're telling it you want to change that screen one way or another. If you don't want to change it or you do change it and you want to accept it, once you push that, you're accepting the changes. Okay, let me see if I, right here, uh, these are all different alarms, like I said. These alarms are the ones that everybody's used to seeing. When you get E24, it's caused by this. It'll tell you, okay? Um, this is the main screen that everybody usually worries about is the host control mode, because if you have an issue, this is the one that most likely experience are gonna be dealing with. And I don't wanna change it because that means it'll have to recalibrate it in the morning. And then to get out of this screen, this pitch, Lock button, we're back to the main screen again. That basically covers the function of this. The park mode, if you push this, it changes color. And it goes, to, if you're at, say, 1100 PSI, when you bleed it down to 500, it actually puts the pump on the A side in chemical so you don't get no crystallization. So that's the pump mode. If you have any questions, give us a call. Uh, it's pretty simple once you start playing with it. Don't be afraid to play with it. Um, you know, these screens here are self-explanatory. Just looking at them, you can play with it all day long. This one here, when you get into it, then you have to understand that if you want to change anything, that has to be gray with the arrow pointing up. Once you do your change and you accept it, you say, okay, you push it again. When it goes down, it means it accepted the change you made. So now that's part of the history and it's part in the machine. That's it.